when they hate it, didn't think we make it How they break they neck just to look at me Remember when I called you and you didn't fall through Now you hit yourself, you can look at me, look at me Y'all. All right, so it is bright and early. We're about to be heading out, going to our boy Janky's, and we're about to be checking on the supercharged swings thing. So the exhaust is finally done. The last of the fittings that we needed are right here to get this thing pretty much fired up. So today we're gonna see what this brand new exhaust setup sounds like, and I think the car should be this. I think this is it. So we uh yeah, let's just get there. I gotta take my little cousin to school. It's bright and early, so yeah, let's just uh, head that way, and then we'll finish chit chatting once we get there. All right, my peeps, man. This is a long drive. I got stuck in some accident traffic for like an hour, but we're finally here. So yeah, let's get this swing thing all wrapped up. That way we can hear what this new exhaust sounds like. Oh, this will be y'all first time getting to see the new exhaust too. All stainless steel, TIG welded. Mm. Well, this is also my first time sitting in person, but Jenky does fire ass work. It's good. And they're came frapping. Fucking motor mounts. You know what I don't want to do? Ah, oh, dang, you still ain't came? Damn. It played you. No, this happened exactly 100% the way I knew it. <laughs> yeah, we could do that. I volunteered you to do motor mounts and then didn't show up, huh? Exactly what I said was gonna happen when he said we can do it. Got a mouse in your pocket, motherfucker. Who says we? Fucking French. Here you go. Last two fittings. Yeah, put them on the other tank. Thought I was gonna be coming in here and seeing the exhaust on here. I was gonna put it back on, but since we're doing the tank lines in the tank and all that, kind of stuff, fuck it. it goes in super easy. So we have a first startup today for him, huh? Y'all get to hear how this new exhaust sounds. Look at that, them Borla attacks, baby. Amazon's finest. Hell no, these came from Summit. It's like three hundred dollars each. Oh shit. Yeah, they're expensive ass mufflers. Yeah, ripped up. Dude, they're the best though. You gotta ride my. You gotta ride my three fifty Z. I know. I fucking never. It's been here plenty of times, and you still ain't like. I'm just not into driving customer cars or anything like that either, though. Ain't like it's gonna break. It's LS3, baby. Mm -hmm. Built LS3. I know. I just don't want the responsibility in case somebody fucking rear ends me at a light, which is. It <laughs> happened to one of my S13s that I built. Dude took it to a shop and uh, the car got rear ended <laughs> on a test drive. Wasn't like that before. Yeah. Look at that, it wasn't that bad either. It's easy ass mouse to do. See that? That's what I don't like. That dirty ass. What's the leg lift do? What's that help with? Torque. Torque? That's Get like a swing stick. swing yeah. action? Yeah, that's a torque stick. The higher the leg goes, the more torque to put on it. Oh, that one ain't got that much torque. You didn't lift the leg. <laughs> man, look at how good these welds look, man. We bought this X-Pipe, so don't, don't don't look at those welds, but look at these welds compared to these welds. <laughs> so finishing up the finishing up the fuel lines now, then we'll get this tank back in, start this thing up. That's why. You know, my brother always say, there's no room for egos in the house that we built. Right now we building heaven. So I invite you into this house. You're welcome. Feeling like can't nobody tell me nothing. Yeah. The main ones told me never did this for me. Nah. Had to get it the best way I knew how. They hated on me then, but they loving me now. Now that the 
Rules have turned We in a different situation yeah. May we keep going Check it out Check it out they never view you the same once you move out they lane I told them to pitch me rolling but they cropped out the frame I hopped out the game, they came back with a cheat code and beast mode Shoot every shot but never reload Rails always prevail, the ship is only set to sail Try to sink me if you can, keep a cannon to feed you hell Fare thee well, inscribe my insignia on my lapel So they notice me, they know it's me, true teller like Chappelle Master of my own fate, from the alley shooting on crates From getting booed at talent shows to being seen as one of the greatest most known unknown, the triple six of my state Tables turned, cigars burned, glasses filled with crushed grapes yeah. Feeling like can't nobody tell me nothing yeah. The main ones told me never did this far Alright, so this is it. Tighten up the last bolt now. Look how this thing looks all in. Remember how we were having super crazy fitment issues with the off-the-shelf stuff? But now look. It used to go under the tank. Yeah, he's like sit against here, but now we got clearance here. You can see over here on the Panhard bar, we got clearance. A lot of people struggle with getting a, a full exhaust when they have the torque tube. You usually see people do axle dumps right here just because of the, the clearance and stuff. But look at that, we managed to get a full three inch all the way through with the X pipe still. Jeez. Slip fits. Man, this is by far probably my most beautiful exhaust. So yeah, we're gonna, uh, he's definitely gonna be doing the, redoing the exhaust on the turbo coupe for me, cause this is like way higher. Like you can see it like actually goes up at the low point. When it gets on the floor, the difference of the... Yeah, the coupe, you can, on the turbo coupe, you can see the exhaust hanging like yeah. past the subframe connectors. Yeah. Whereas this is like super tucked up. It's just beautiful. Sheesh. Look at these sexy little mounts too. Quality, this is quality right here, sir. So I, this is why my boy Janky is the GOAT. So we're about to be getting the first startup for y'all here shortly. Mm. Look at that, tucked, tucked up. Shit looks good. All this for a drift car, ugh. Get to the point where it's like, man, I gotta build another one. <laughs> Don't wanna drift this one, gotta build another one. Fingers crossed, hopefully I made the right choice with, with gambling with these vibrant, uh, or vibrant. Blah, 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 blah. Gambling with these boiler attack mufflers. <laughs> these are literally considered crate mufflers for LS cars. So they're like fine-tuned by Borla for LS chassis cars, but we're gonna try it on the 302 and see how it sounds. The thing I like about them is they don't have drone. Like they're loud on the outside, but on the inside they like numbified drone so well. So I'm hoping they're gonna do the same thing for this. Literally got LS mufflers on a 302. All right, so we're getting the piping on right now, and then we should be able to fire her up. Put the <laughs> pipe, homie. <laughs> Just think of this exhaust. Oh my god, it looks so expensive. Oh, it is. Oh, <laughs> Jenk, you started laughing as soon as you said that. Uh-huh. It's probably a good three wrecks right here. Jeez, shut up. Glad we're all on the same page, right? <laughs> all right, you know what? I, I Man, you know, it's definitely, this look like, you know, hey, all the ones on, the ones I see on eBay and Pikes and all that, you know, Corsa, they be going for like 800. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Worth every penny, too. <laughs> this look nice, bro. Yeah, he did his thing. We ain't surprised, though. Nah. This ain't like, oh my god, I found the new fabricator. This dude's <laughs> dope. <laughs> Everything fitted hella nice. Remember how before it was touching the tank? Yeah. Got it away. And look, by the wheel where people usually have issues. So is it still three all the way? It's full three inch. Oh. Full three inch. Goddamn fabricator. Use a goddamn fabricator, bro. Just get it, fake it. <laughs> I've been doing this a couple weeks. Goddamn fabricator right here. Watch the video on YouTube. Oh, you learned from YouTube? Yeah. Shit. All right, moment of truth. Moment of truth. First startup. It's the moment of truth. <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, all the piping, everything in now. Keep telling you, that's what she said. Oh, 
the piping. Give me all the piping. Stupid. <laughs> Want to rotate this too real quick? That way. You feel me? You got to aim this thing up. That way when people are here, whoosh, hair gets glow back. Whoosh, whoosh. Yeah. Plus, I don't want it blowing this way into the uh, <laughs> to the headlight section, blowing the bulbs and shit out. Shouldn't have wore white today. I'm all dirty and shit. <laughs> you are still that was going Stupid. The harder you try to stay clean, the dirtier you will get. <laughs> right? <laughs> Alright, fire it up. This is hella loud. What? This is hella loud. Why you cut it off? Oh, I thought you said something. No, it says hella loud. I don't know, it was like blowing fuel out the back or something. <laughs> no, it's <was> good. <laughs> Come on, pussy. Alternator not spinning. Alternator not spinning. Alternator is spinning. What are you talking about? That shit wasn't spinning. Nigga, I'm looking at it. Do I do it again? I just seen it stop spinning as he was revving it. Mm -hmm. Bro, it's spinning. That shit wasn't spinning, blood. It's spinning. I'm looking at it. Go ahead. Stupid. Sounds good. It sounds like a straight bike. It's hella loud. Those things ain't doing shit. It's loud. I bet you won't be no drone though. V3 supercharger. Straight cut gear, so you got a lot of the whining noises. Yo, this thing is hella loud, though. I ain't gonna lie, that shit loud as hell. Hopefully it's just loud because we're inside the building, but it's definitely loud. So what's good with my brothers and my sisters? So I uh, got back home probably about an hour ago. Just got done eating and stuff. Uh, right now I'm about to be actually going to White Aaron's house for a minute. I got to drop off one of the um, LS3 parts that I got left behind. Uh, my little cousin accidentally left it inside the truck when we were unloading all the parts. So yeah, we're about to go visit our boy White Aaron. I'm going to be taking the sea fizzle out. I love driving this car, man. Like a lot of people don't understand how smooth the C5 is. Like. I've always said that like driving this car just feels like peaceful. It's like super, super smooth when it's riding. Like it does, I don't know, it's just like a, it's just a super comfortable car to drive. Like I like daily driving this car. Like if it wasn't for traffic, I would have drove it this morning, but I knew I was gonna get stuck in traffic because it was rush hour, but around town and everything, like it's probably like one of my favorite cars to drive. I mean, realistically, I love driving both my vets c5 and the c6 but i don't know something about the c5 that i just love but i am about to be making it more comfortable I just got my center console in so i'm gonna throw a double den in same double den that's in the the turbo Rado. we're gonna be throwing it in here i already got the sub back there but it ain't mounted plus it's not the sub i'm gonna be running i'm gonna probably run a uh what you call it uh one of those scar subs or i might put a, a sony 12 inch sub in here just have one sub and some slap, but yeah, man. Just till I finish the G35, this might just be my daily. I might take this wrap off too and do like a solid color or go back black on carbon or something. I don't know, but I'm kind of tired of the carnage wrap. I kind of want just something that's that blends in. I come bearing gifts and my car. <laughs> What's good? What's up, brother? How are you doing? What's this? The shifter. Oh, Kyrie cool. forgot it in the truck today. I put it inside the truck. 
So I just want to uh, touch bases on something that I had said about this thing. Literally, I had said this car is super smooth and I don't know what it is on why this car is so smooth. It's like a weird, like when I say smooth, I'm not talking in the sense of like, oh, it, it drives good. Like it's, yeah, it rolls good and it's hella smooth, but I think it has something to do with how, how crisp and clear the exhaust sounds. Like it doesn't crackle, it doesn't pop or anything. It just sounds super smooth. So it's one of those weird things that it sounds so smooth that it's almost like a refreshing sound when you're driving. I don't, I don't know, it's like hard to explain, but this car is hella smooth. Like I said, it's like one of my favorite cars to drive as a as a daily. It's weird, like you'd have to drive it to understand what I'm talking about. Like it's just, uh, it's a weird, weird thing. But also it is the biggest motor out of all our cars. We got like 11 or 12 cars and this has the biggest motor. This is the 402, which is equivalent to about a 6.6 .6 liter. So maybe that has to do with it. Maybe it just has a, a bunch of torque, but I mean, it still doesn't make as much power as the C6. So I don't know why it still feels like overall just smoother. It's like a weird weirdness behind it. Stop picking on my car, man. No, it's smooth. Oh. Like it's like my favorite car to drive, like just around town and shit. It's like hella smooth. I'm gonna probably change right. the wrap though. Sorry, I get a little edgy. <sighs> Good. Yeah, I get a little protective over it. Stop talking about my car. Stop talking about me. I like it. That's why I ain't gave up on it yet. No. <laughs> I like the wrap, but I'm interested to see the new. Yeah, I'm ready to change it. So for those that watched the last video, y'all seen that this is the new the new thing that we add into the channel. And of course, in my typical fashion, I've already ordered a gang of parts for this thing. <laughs> so already have the new wheels on the way, have the coilovers on the way. I ordered the Voodoo rear uh, tow and camber arms to get rid of the bucket since we're doing true style coilovers. Uh, what else? I ordered a front lip for this thing. I thought about doing the whole Nismo kit, but I ended up deciding not to do the Nismo kit. Uh, Y'all will see what I ended up doing. But the big part of this, you already know that we have the whole ISR kit inside Aaron's garage and I'm going to be LS3 swapping this and so dope that I actually found the LS3. Uh, I made a post on IG. I was like, yo, anybody got an LS3, let me know. And somebody in SoCal hit me up saying they had an LS3, he sent me a video of it running, had a cam and everything in it. So it worked out perfect. That's exactly what I was going to do. So it saves me a lot of time and some money from having to do a whole cam kit and all that. So I'm gonna probably drive down to SoCal this weekend, get the LS3 for this thing, then Aaron can start ripping this out and uh, yeah, getting the getting the engine band shit prepped for the LS3. This is gonna be dope, man. I cannot wait to finish up this car. Like this is gonna be one that I'm excited about doing. People were hitting me up for the for the OEM raise. Like, I don't know who, mm -mm. I gotta look and see how much they, they're going for. So. Uh, I'll keep y'all updated on that for the people that were interested in buying these wheels because the new wheels are on the way. We're doing some, something I think is going to look nice and classy on here. But yeah, parts are on the way for this thing. So this is going to be a, a crazy quick uh, transformation on, on the G for sure. We're about to be heading out. We're about to shake and go home right now. So I've been here for the last few hours. So we actually ordered a few more parts for the, for the LS3 sedan that we're about to be doing so i figured out a name for that thing too we're gonna be officially dubbing the ls3 g35 we're gonna be calling that the ctsg <laughs> i'm literally gonna get i'm gonna get some uh emblems made for that car that says ctsg i've been going too crazy these 